Welcome back. I usually don't stream two days in a row, but you know what? I'm feeling up to it, surprisingly. I had a rough night, but I got a lot of time to fill today. So, it's spring break. Let's do another paperball stream. Let's see if we can finish this today. So I played this yesterday. This is a Super Monkey Ball spiritual successor kind of fan game. And I got through a good chunk of it. There was a little bit of flailing trying to find the right kind of game mode that I wanted. Before I uh, did metal mode kind of turned out to be the most like Monkey Ball 2's story mode. And I got six out of 11 worlds done. I have the final five to do, which are obviously going to be the harder. The harder set, and I need to get gold medals on every one in order to continue unlocking levels. Oh boy, this is disorienting. Hello, Darian. If you were here for the, uh, the stream yesterday. Ready? Go. I had a little bit, I was a little bit rough yesterday. I got my second dose and was feeling, you know, kind of tired, a little bit sick. It only really kicked in last night. Where I just, I started feeling extremely sick. Ow. Couldn't get any sleep. It was very rough last night. Took some aspirin. Half hour later, something just clicked, and I felt totally fine. And for the most part, it stayed that way, so... Started out as a very rough day, and it's gotten better. I'm doing alright now. Something about the camera on this level is very, is very jarring. It's like it's wobbling with the with the moving platforms. Ready, go. So what do I do? I got this today. No, ne no plans for tomorrow necessarily, but Talk about doing hamster ball, maybe I'll do that. Just do them back to back, show the differences Ready? between the games. No. Got uh, Awesome Knots tentatively planned for Thursday, and Sonic 06 on Friday with Jack and Saucy. Also, I realized that uh, the entire last stream. My microphone was in room mode, Ready? which is not awful, it's still decent quality, it's just a, a little bit short of what it would be in the current condenser mode. I was hooked on Austin Knots for a while. That's how I met a lot of my friends, a lot of the guys who now appear on streams like Jackbox. Wickersham does his Smash streams. We originally met through Awesome Knots. It's like if, uh, it's kind of like if Mega Man were a MOBA. It was such a great idea, but the devs just kind of weren't very good at balancing and there were a lot of questionable decisions made over the course of its life. It didn't crash and burn the way that, say, the culling did. But they just weren't quite able to keep up with, uh... Ready, I guess what they need to do to make it as popular a game as it would need to be to be profitable. Or just to retain players. Also, it is still a MOBA, so people can be very mean 
had a problem with that, uh, it had, it had the kind of toxic community problem that MOBAs are want to have. Any, uh, any characters you've been playing, Darian? Ready, go. Uh, go. I get through it once, it's just not quite enough for gold. That could be a little bit, a little bit of cheese. Not something I want to go for necessarily. This is not a level I want to spend a lot of time on. Not that I have a choice. Ready, go. Oh, yeah, that sounds about right for awesome nuts. So uh, Lone Star is one of the ones that is currently in the in the cycle of playable characters. Ready, go. Ready, go. Ready, go. He's nice in that he can kind of just afford to do his own thing throughout an entire Austin Knots match. There's not really any other characters who can just uh, go out on their own and cheese turrets the way he can. I made a uh, I made a guide for the game long time ago for uh, new players trying to figure out who they should play as, but. It got pretty popular at the time, but it's now long outdated because I haven't kept up with it, of course. I had to buy him with, uh, like, real money or with in-game cash. <sighs> I don't like this level. It's just going to be a whole stream of levels like this, isn't it? It's possible this may be today and tomorrow. Ready, go. Oh, that's right. He is the tutorial character as well, so... as is probably not surprising, me being the heavies guy. I play a lot of uh, Clunk and School Deer. It can be very difficult not to... Uh, Clunk in particular is difficult to contribute without just killing yourself all the time. Awesome not uh, awesome not the devs Ronimo made another game since Awesome Knots and since Swords and Soldiers 2. Which, by the way, I got kinda screwed over by being Wii U exclusive. Again, one in a long line of probably poor business decisions on their part. They made another game that was like, uh, it was like a dungeon crawler. You know, I want, I w would want to support them, but it just, it didn't look like my kind of game, so I never, I never really tried it. Oh, did I get it? 1671. Okay. Ready? 
Oh, that's right. I can't jump. Whoops. He's the face of the game. Well, yeah, I guess he is on the... He's like the, the icon. It's amazing. There's a... So there's a Creeper Clunk skin. Which just harks to how big Minecraft has gotten since it was this little indie thing that was considered on par with all these other indie games. You look at it now and it's like, how the hell did a game like Awesome Knots get a crossover with THE Minecraft? What are some other crossovers it got? There's a there's a Yogg's cast skin for Skoldir. A lot of uh, a lot of somewhat well known YouTube voices in the game. I don't remember her name. There was like a YouTuber who does, has like a, a fox character gimmick. Voices Penny Fox. Antlion who is uh, Yamcha in Dragon Ball Z Abridged voices Sir Scoop. Lanny Minnelli is Nibs, who is the voice of Rouge the one of the Rouge the Bats and Bubsy. Riding up, we riding up. Okay, there's more more things to ride. Well, this is a uh, another one of those levels that I don't have to worry too much about going fast on because. I'm at the whims of the timed platforms, anyway. Ready, go. Ready, go. Am I going too early or too late? I was always disappointed that there was never a uh, Santa school deer skin. Oh, and Ayla, I played a lot of. Ready, go. I guess I could call her like newcomer friendly. If I wait even longer, I can use the upward momentum to kind of jump. No, that was a terrible idea. That was doomed to fail. What's the Minotaur's name? Uh, Max something? He was one of the later, he was one of the last additions to the game.
and he's kind of not what you'd expect insofar as you'd think he would be like this big damage dealing bruiser, but he's kind of, he's more useful for support, I want to say, because his, one of his moves is the, is the sh team shield. I don't know what kind of uh, archetypes you're usually drawn to in games, Darian. Ready? Go. Ted McPain is pretty straightforward. He's this big tanky shooter guy. Ready? Go. Deals a lot of turret damage. I think there have been other attempts at the uh, 2D MOBA idea. Just none that quite reached the success that Awesome Knots did, and even that only got so far. It would be nice to see something, you know, try it again and succeed. Ready, go. Hello, Xanox. How's your day going? Hopefully it's going better than this jump is going for me. Ready, go. Do we have a do we have a death tracker? How many times have I attempted this now? I have an idea. Aha! Got it! I I gotta stick to the wall. I gotta be a Spider-Man. Build up speed for 12 hours. Mm. <sighs> Usually like the run and gunner. You should uh, you should try Ted if you have the opportunity to. Gonna hang out up here. I know it wants me to go to the left first, but I think going straight to the right is how I get the best time. It's gonna go down automatically, so I'll just hang out up here. That's what I'll do. Yeah. I gotta really curve that though. Ready? Go. Oh boy. Here we go. So have you played this game, Xanox? This is my first time playing it. Let me see what my time is like. Maybe I, maybe I will have to go to the left after all. That's still pretty demanding. Thirty-four. Just short. That was close. I can still do it that way. It's just going to be a little bit tight. I'm sure Platinum would require some kind of crazy speedrun strategy to get to the, the right immediately and skip the left side, though. No, 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 no. Ready, go. How many worlds do we have left? Five? Yeah, we could, we, this could definitely be two more streams. 
I anticipated the possibility. Yeah, that's what I figured. I'm not going for all Platinums, though. I've gotten a few of them so far, but, uh... I just need the Golds so that I can get to the future levels. I kind of wish I didn't need to get all Golds to get more levels. I would like to just go to, like, from level to level. Super Monkey Ball 2 style, but, uh... As far as I can tell, there's no such way to do that in this game. Come on, get up. Ugh, that was even slower. Ready? Go. The online has been something that people have always complained about with uh, Awesome Knots, so... I wonder how much they've continued to work on it over time. Made it. All right. Rotating locks. Oh, we, we Mario Sunshine now. We got divots. Da 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 da. Oh no. I liked Wario World more than Mario Sunshine. Hot take. Ready? Go. If Ready? lag does Go. manifest in Awesome Knots, it's usually, uh... It, like, in the worst cases, a character will be skipping Ready? around. I remember the most egregious case I think we ever saw. It might, there might be a highlight video of, uh, I think we called it Evil Jack. We were playing with, uh, we ran into another person named Jack online. He was a Lone Star, and he killed us with a dynamite from, like, across the stage. Or, like, the opposite side of the level. Because of some manner of lag shenanigans. Oh boy. Ready? Go. So this is another tricky one. Ready? Most of the awesome out stuff was so long ago that uh, we don't have highlights of it. I've done a few a few highlights reels of. Ready? More notable, more recent Awesome Knot streams. Namely, the uh, custom map showcases. It was fairly late in the game's life that they added, like, uh, Steam Workshop support. But it was a cool thing that uh, they did take the time to add. It was like a level editor, things like that. That kind of revitalized the community for a little while. Is the ability to make uh, custom game modes. Oh no. Get on. Get over. Yeah, nope. Too far. Ready, go. Oh yeah, the, the the stopping in place. That's probably the most common type. And then you get some people who have like are on like honor rules where they won't attack someone who is reconnecting. We'll just leave them be. And then other people don't really care. They'll just, they'll take the opportunity to attack them anyway. Because once they do reconnect, they take all of the damage that uh, was dealt to them while they were stuck there. And they just, they just die.
I, you don't have very much time at all to make those, those corners. Ready, go. I keep trying to time it and you, you really just can't. You don't have enough grip to uh, just make them organically. You have to go over early and land on one of the one of the nubs. Ready? Go. And I keep missing. There we go. I got the nub. Now I just need to make it. All right. There we go. Lyax. Is, is, is that the doves? I guess that's the doves. Oh boy. Oh boy. Where are we going? What are we gonna do on the gear, Clyax? No! I got so close the first time, and then now I, j I can't do anything. Being able to play it with friends is uh, a better experience than playing solo as well, I'd say. You know, it being a team game. It looks so easy, but it's not. I found the I found the code. I found the 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 the, the, the matrix. I just I gotta line up with that part of the diamond, and I gotta ride it on up. What physics shenanigans are going to be on this? Okay. Okay, I, I, I see the pattern. I see what's going on. Wow, that was easy. That's, that's a, a World 7 level? I'd go for a better time on that if I wanted to, but I'm good. Ready? Construct. Oh. Oh, okay. This looks extremely cheesy, but it's probably not. It can't be that easy, can it? Easy cheesy? Ready? That was so close, I can just get a little speed. I wonder what the intended way for Ready? this is. Ready, 
Ready? Go! Okay, like go around the the lip here. Yeah, that must be what they expect you to do. I bet you could go. I bet you could go straight across though with just the right amount of speed. Oh boy, where we go? We're going to the center. What's well, the fastest way to get there? I guess it's this. That was okay. That was platinum. Great. This game is subliminal, subliminally trying to advertise Fallout 76. With, with a ferris wheel? Oh boy. Okay, this, this doesn't look too bad. I just gotta make that set of stairs. Which I did the first time, and now I'm having trouble replicating it. A, I, I need a sticky ball. I need a I need a choice of, of balls like in uh, Rock of Ages. Ready, Is there a tar boulder that I can use? Ready, go. Ready, go. Ready, That's a meme waiting to happen. You got Fallout 76, and then you got Fallout 1000, and that's just Super Monkey Ball. Ready, go. What was it? Vinny did some uh, Monkey Ball Ready, 2 streams. Go. I don't remember if it was the story or he cut like user user made levels. Ready, go. But he cleared it in 999 attempts. He was just short of a thousand. planning on doing Rock of Ages 2. We did Rock of Ages 2. That's the one that me and Jack played. Okay, I need, I need to wait a little bit on that third step. I played Rock of Ages 3 on my own, and it was fine, but it, it wasn't different enough from 2 that I think it would merit a stream. We need 90s music to go with this. Oh! That was so close. Ready? That would have been a good first attempt. Go. Yeah, the newest one is uh, 3. And it was supposedly very buggy, which... I mean, it was kind of buggy, but it's so was too, honestly. Antarctic. All right, 35 minutes for one world. That's not bad. Oh boy, we got lips. We got big red lips. Also, we played, uh, we did Rock of Ages 2 while Jack was still, uh, living here, so. Maybe we could have done 3 co-op if we really wanted to with, uh, Parsec. 
Or if he also had the game, then maybe there's an online co-op, I don't recall. But the, the whole franchise, the whole series is kind of a novelty in and of itself, so... I kind of figure if we played one of them, we've played them all. enemy the nyuk Ready, go. I gotta hit all the nyuks uh crash four Ready, on the way go. it uh, apparently released without my being aware of it Ready, go. talked about this yesterday on the, on the previous paperball stream I would have gotten the steam version were there a steam version however it is not it is on Blizzard, Activision, Ready, Battle, Net, whatever that thing is. Ready, and I don't really care to get that, so I just got the Switch version. It is expected in the mail Friday. Kind of wish I'd realized it was out sooner, because then I would have had it to play during uh, spring break. But that's okay. That will almost certainly be the next thing I do. After uh, this game and whatever I might do as a stream on uh, on tomorrow if I decide to stream. Maybe I'll do hamster ball and that uh, that tower defense. They might not merit uh, two hours each. Apparently, uh, what is it? The first Steam World game is uh, tower defense. Which I, I wasn't aware there were other games before SteamWorld Dig. People are barely aware of SteamWorld Dig. This doesn't look like a fun level. Ready, go. Ready, go. It looked kind of fun, though. Maybe I'll look into that first SteamWorld game. Uh, hmm. This is a very momentum -y level. Call out. Ready, go. Call out. I have no idea what it has to do with homosexual Ready, cattle, though. having fun. Devs, please fix. Fix your game. Your game is broken. It has bad levels in it. I don't like this level. You should remove it. One out of ten. Too many gables. Now what? I gotta get over here. There's so much! Oh, why is there so much? No! <laughs> oh, okay. It's got like the the Yoshi's crafted world aesthetic. With the like the clouds on wires and things. Loops. Alright, well I'm not gonna go straight down. I'm gonna do this. Always got to try this first. Uh-oh. I, I see potential. Oh, boy. Ready, that's, uh, that, that's some precise potential, but it is potential. I kind of want to do it. Fuck the police. Ready, go. You can't tell me how to play a game. Oh. Ready, go. Call out. Ready, go. Ready, go. 
gonna work. It's gonna work. Okay, let's see how it looks normally. I'll, I'll go through it normally once. Oh boy. You can't go full ham, you gotta release the stick. Actually. Now I can use I can use the bounce. I can get it just right. Ready, go. There also might be a way to go over this at just the right speed though. That I can roll down the the bottom one there. There might be multiple ways to cheese this. Oh, hey, I just found another one. Ready, Hello. That was so close. I'm just gonna I'm gonna go straight in. It's gonna it's nothing but net. Four seventy seven. We're on a round about. Ready? Go. That was a game we streamed long time ago. That was one of the first ones we streamed, Roundabout. I think the first stream I did on this channel after uh, we moved from Jax was Awesome Knots. We did some Town of Salem, some Speedrunners, Roundabout, Undertale. and how I carry myself and also in microphone quality oh boy that looks like I see cheese potential on the left there but I'm already committed to this route now so I'm gonna keep going <laughs> no 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 Let's see what the cheese is like. Maybe not. Ready, Maybe that's optimistic cheese. Maybe it's fake cheese. Maybe it's moon cheese. Maybe it is in fact unattainable. Ready, go. I got a pause buffer more. That's what I'm, that's what I'm missing. Close, or it looks close. Mm, nah, I can't tell if that's possible, but if it is, I don't. I think it's outside my skill range. I mentioned that uh, Jojo used Walk Like an Egyptian for one of the ending themes in Part 3, Stardust Crusaders. Which means that uh, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure and Totally Spies both license the same song. Which is an extremely bizarre... I get... Well, not really crossover, but connection, I suppose, that for one to make. They used Walk Like an Egyptian as a weird insert song in the Totally Spies movie. Ready, go. Ready, go. 
Get up, get up. Ready, go. Ready, go. They kind of stopped that after a while. After, uh... I think after Stardust Crusaders. They started just using Japanese songs for JoJo themes. I guess they didn't feel the need to uh, license big name American songs anymore. Ready, go. Ready, go. Granted, people still seem to love it. We got some good, uh, good JoJo themes. Weird that I'm looking at this and I'm, I'm thinking of Rhapsody Kids Christmas because that's just what I now obligatorily think of when I see something that's like crafty and childish and takes place in winter. Ready? Undulation. Undulature. Hello. Ready? Go. Oh, for sure. There are definitely people in Japan who are, like, crazy about Western animation. I don't know if they have a, a, a name for that specifically, but I'm sure they exist. I've been more on a, on a stint for uh, Western animation over anime of late. Although it's hard to find... Uh, it's hard to find uh, Western animation that does have, like, uh, continuity. Because I'm not really interested in uh, cartoon cartoons. Just, like, little comedy segments. Ready? Go. At the moment, I'm looking into a bunch of uh, French animation. Like, right, Miraculous Ladybug. Uh, I remember the series Witch exists. I haven't tried that yet. A lot of, a lot of French magical girl shows. Oh boy, this is a funny level. Some of the, I remember some of the levels in Marble and Up were uh, not really puzzly or even difficult at all. They were just kind of adrenaline levels. Like they would just have, uh, they would just have a giant clearing down a mountain where you would just run at breakneck speeds. It was nice. I like I like the variety. Ready, go. Especially since I, that's more like the, I guess that's kind of like the Sonic the Hedgehog ideal, Ready, go. where uh, you don't necessarily run the risk. It's not necessarily of whether you can get through the level, but how fast you can get through the level. I probably don't need to make that particular platform. I could go one one later. What is it? Thirteen seconds. Oh boy. Ready, go. Oh, 
Well, no, I can make it, but would I be able to make the ending? I think I need to tighten this a little bit somehow. Aha! I think I found it. That's my route. Still not platinum, but that's okay. We're making progress. I think World 8 is easier than World 7. Ready, Leap of Faith. I know how to do those! Oh, but camera, please. Missed the. I thought that red thing was the Ready, the portal. Go. Let's try this side. That way I can. Uh... Ready, Apparently Konami is going to be present at E3. That's this year. That's right. E3 was uh, confirmed to be on again. Ready, Were they not at E3 the previous time that there was a physical one? Did they, like, opt out? the thing. Ready, go. Uh, the thing is on the other side. Okay, I, I see what it wants. Ready, I don't like it, but I see it. Well, so I could go to the center platform and roll with it. Or I could ride this one. Would I have to do the same thing either way? For that matter, is there a way that I can cheese it? Can I dunk it? Dunkin' Donuts! No, it's too far. Maybe I can ride this up. No. Maybe not. Ready, go. 
I know what it wants me to do. But I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find the, the, the secret way. That, that could be something. tight though. It's very, very precise timing. I got it close once and now I'm going to struggle to replicate it. <sighs> Maybe I didn't get it that close. Maybe I was deluding myself. Maybe there was never a goal at all. Alright, I'm gonna do it the normal way. Ready? Go. Let's see how close the time gets. I don't need to be it. I don't need to set world records, I just need the gold. I'm getting greedy, to be honest, but, you know, that's, that's the fun of the game. He's trying to see how you can cheese these things. Roll. You peep. Okay, so that was almost at 18. That would be very, very tight if I were to try to do it that way. Maybe there was never a fourth seat. green tea. Ready? Go. <sighs> it's so close, I can taste it. if there are community levels for this game. There is, uh, I think there is DLC. So there's additional levels that you could buy if you just want more to play. This seems like a game that would be good for a community workshop. Actually, I don't remember if uh, Marble It Up had community workshop support. I touched it. I felt the I felt the rim, guys. I got a LeBron it. point of the stream where it's just noises. Inevitably it comes. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Oh, here's something I didn't talk about on stream. Just for, uh, the sake of, I don't know, people who might watch this in the future. 
Space Jam 2 has been announced. Ready? Go. Some folks have been complaining that they made Lola Bunny less sexy. I think she looks fine. And there have been other uh, complaints about the movie or the premise or something. I don't know what the details. I haven't really kept up with it. And also in Looney Tunes news, Big Chungus is now canon. There is a official Looney Tunes mobile game. I think it's like a turn-based RPG or something. And for an April Fool's event, they included Big Chungus using the name Big Chungus. They have acknowledged the meme and added it to the game. His max level is 69. Ready, go. What a reality we live in. I think that's cool, though. I think it's cool to see official properties acknowledging, like, big memes relating to them. Ready? It's only gonna become uncool once everyone starts doing it. It's a massive crossover story now. Like Ready Player One, but with Warner Brothers brands. Okay. Wait, wait, Ready, Ready Player One was a crossover? I guess I don't know anything about that either. What other Warner Brothers brands are there? Like, like what is included or referenced in the new Space Jam cinematic universe? Superman, Iron Giant, and Godzilla. What? Ready? Wait, Warner Brothers owns Godzilla? I guess, uh, like, American distribution rights, maybe. Iron Giant? That's bizarre. Ready? I think that was a that was a Don Bluth movie, Iron Giant. Maybe. Maybe I'm misremembering. That's the closest I've gotten, is just touching the rim. Ready, go! Ready? Uh, also, Godzilla is not a cartoon character. I mean, there have been Godzilla cartoons, but... I mean, Superman and Iron Giant at least make a little more sense in that regard, if there's like a, a Roger Rabbit-esque cartoon world. Ready, It'll probably sell, though. Ready, People love crossovers. We need a, uh, we need a ball game cinematic universe. We gotta get them all together in one perfect marble game with all the features and all, all the play styles. We gotta get the paper ball, we gotta get the, the monkey ball monkeys, I, I, and, uh, the other three whose names I forget. We gotta get the hamster ball, we gotta get the marble madness marble, the marble it up marble. Maybe related to the Marble Madness Marble. Ready, go. Gotta get the boulder from Rock of Ages. And just for good measure, we'll get uh, Crash Bandicoot in that weird glass ball he had in Wrath of Cortex. That, that'll be the seller. You gotta put Crash in it. Ready, go. If the Toon characters are in reality, they become CG. Oh, okay. Well, that directly contradicts Space Jam 1, though. Because they, they went to the real world. They, they went to, like, Michael Jordan's house. And they, they were still cartoons. I can't believe you would disrespect such a masterful piece of cinematography. A cultural icon 
as Space Jam. How dare they not show that... that... Okay, I'm, I'm running out of words. I'm, I'm struggling so much with this level. It's the Da Vinci of cinema, Space Jam. Now, when you say they look CG, is it like uh, 3D cartoons CG? Or is it like uh, try to make them look as realistic as possible CG? Do they look like Detective Pikachu Pokemon? I still think Detective Pikachu Pokemon looked really gross. Appar I'm s apparently the only one who thinks that. <gasps> oh, that was the closest one! I went around the rim. Heavily stylized, yet realistic CG. Photorealistic fur. So it sounds like Detective Pikachu Pokemon. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Well, they apparently know what Big Chungus is now, so I'm anticipating that to make an appearance in the movie. He's just gonna be, like, he's gonna be the stinger after the credits, is Bugs Bunny turning into Chungus. Mark my words. and unpause in this compared to monkey ball which would make pause buffering annoying <gasps> If you missed the first stream I did of this game, I have to get gold on every level. I can't settle for just making it to the ending. If I don't get that 1860 time, then I will not be able to unlock and play more levels. So this is a forced time trial, as it were. If it's on Switch, I am uh, I'm, I'm happy to be getting Crash 4. Even better if it is like uh, a really meaty game that's difficult 100%. Because I don't really have anything like that to uh, dedicate my time to at the moment. There aren't any games I'm really uh, big into playing. And it's nice to be have a game that I can be excited about. Oh, th thank you for your sympathy game. I got an achievement. I don't think it showed up on the on the screen. I got it for dying so many times. <gasps> Whoop, yes! Thirteen fifty-six. Wow, that only took half an hour. Okay, it wasn't that long, but it was too long. Oh boy, here we go. Mock speed. Uh okay. That was not suggesting I go straight off. Uh, now what? Hello? 
Ah. Oh. Okay, so this this is a waiting for platforms level. How are we gonna do this? Okay, so I, I gotta I gotta roll back a little ways, part way along the along the path of travel. I start here. There we go. All right, last one. How bad is this? I assume there's three. Rule of threes. Oh, well, shoot. Ready, go. Ah, it was too, Ready, too early. The way this game handles momentum is strange. On the ball has less traction than it honestly should. Ready? Go. Like every everything is kind of icy even outside the ice world. That's gold. I've been playing a lot of uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon lately. I gotta get that, uh, that set up, the multiplayer again, see if we can try that. Do one of the campaigns without, like, uh, financial limits. Or Sandbox. It is more fun to go for a campaign, though. It's just really, really hard to coordinate a multiplayer roller coaster tycoon game with someone where you both have to manage funds. No, I don't want to play the level again. I did it. I beat it. Ready? Go. All right. Hour 15. We have done two of the five that were planned for this stream. Razor blades. Oh, this doesn't look fun. I don't like this. Well, maybe it's not so bad. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Was there some scandal Ready? involving LeBron? Ready? Go. Or is he the one... No, maybe he's the one who... had that... Uh, was he the one with the What Should I Do video? Ready, Where people made such a big deal about it that I thought it must have been a scandal, but no, it was just he like changed teams and fans of basketball got mad about it, is all it was. Was that LeBron? Ready, go. Oh, we got foreboding music. Okay, you know what? I've got my headphones off. I'll put them on so I can hear the foreboding music. Ready? Go! Call out. Yeah, this is kinda this is kinda Ready? crash bandicoot Go. music. Ready? Go. A little bit, maybe not. Ready, 
This does sound like I'm fighting the boss of Paperball. The final boss of chess. It's, it's nice that they at least recorded multiple versions of the Ready Goes and the Fallouts. It still gets annoying, though. I wonder if you can turn them off if you want to. Just the voice lines. Diddy Kong Racing vibes. Hey, Wizpig for Smash. Haven't seen him in a while. <laughs> Giant man baby with his little blanky cape. Waddling to the to victory at mock speed. What a bizarre villain that game had. What a bizarre choice they made to give the game a villain. I was never big on Diddy Kong Racing, although I did like the attempts at innovation, at least, which has always been my complaint with the Mario Kart series, is that it's very safe. It just kind of regurgitates the same thing every new incarnation. Doesn't really try anything new because they don't need to. Every new one is going to sell hotcakes, Pe people are going to buy it anyway, and they do. how uh, Crash Nitro Fueled is doing these days. That... <sighs> well, previously, the Ensign Trilogy and the Spyro Trilogy were a year exclusive, and then they came out on uh, Steam. But now with Crash 4 coming out, not on Steam, but on this uh, Battle.net thing, maybe, maybe uh, Nitro Fueled isn't going to be on Steam. Maybe I waited a year for nothing. Boy, that would that would be disappointing. I, I would be a little upset by that. I guess uh, well, Crash Four came out on PS4 before Nitro Fuel did, though, didn't it? So I guess once we have confirmation what Nitro Field is going to be out on, or once it's been a year since it first released, maybe I'll get that on Switch as well. I'm not so big on Crash Team Racing that I feel the need to get it in the first place, but I'd, I'd consider it. Now I'm now I'm screwing myself with the camera. Now I keep cameraing in the wrong way. Oh. Here's some news. Apparently. Uh So we we all knew somewhat recently, like with, within the past year or two, the source files for a bunch of N64 games were discovered. And people were able to make a version of Mario 64 that was just a standalone executable on PC. Well, now there are apparently mods for that. Including uh, some of the ones that have been made. Include full, like, analog camera controls with the right stick. Not limited to the, like, the C-stick cameras of the original game. Being able to continue to get stars without exiting a level. 
And there's also apparently a permadeath mod. Some cool stuff with Mario 64 that might be worth uh, looking into in the future. Uh, Render 96, that's what it's called. Boy, well, can't wait for Nintendo to get on that and shut it down. That last ring, man. take back when I said maybe this level won't be so bad. I am uh, back to my original assessment. This level sucks. Ready? Go. Call out. Oh, they already went after it. Ready? Okay. Go. I guess that's not surprising. I saw a news article about it just the other day, so uh, I guess that's Enough to have brought it to Nintendo's attention. Their intention. Ready, go. Ready, well, you know, only Nintendo is allowed to tell you when you're allowed. When you're uh, only Nintendo can tell you when you're allowed to play Mario 64. You know, they stopped selling it. So uh, they they want to be sure that you uh, you have you have to go a while without playing it. You have to miss it. So that when they do another collection in like I don't know ten years from now, or when they have a the, the N sixty four classic, it can sell. Assuming. Some of them. Some of them I breeze right through. And then like one out of four or one out of three we just get stuck on for like 20 minutes or more. Is uh... So here, here's a question. Oh, well, never mind, I won't ask. I, it's not a story-driven game anyway, but I, I will remain blind to Crash 4. I will not spoil myself so my reactions are fresh. Because I know basically nothing about it. Please, 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 no! I really just have to survive. I don't even need to worry about time that much, because I'm getting, I'm getting there with time to spare. Pick up your fucking dominoes! Ready, you knocked him over! Move him out of the way! Ready, go. Ready, it's very much story-driven. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna say I don't believe you, but I don't believe you. A story-driven game, to me, is like an RPG. Ga ga a game with many text boxes, not not a level-based platformer. Man! Ready? Ready? 
I don't think Monkey Ball was ever this sadistic. This is like, uh, this is the kind of thing I would see in Monkey Ball user levels. Oh, here's something I, I learned. Because it was recommended to me while I was purchasing Crash 4. Uh, appar apparently, Monkey Ball Banana Blitz HD and Sonic Forces are now in a double pack for sale for the Nintendo Switch. How badly did those games sell that Sega now has to put them as a, as a double pack? That's like one of those DVDs you see at, at Walmart, the Adam Sandler movie collection. I haven't seen a double pack of two unrelated video games in... Have I ever seen that? I don't know that I have. Also, Crash 4 on Switch was only uh, $40. Which is very refreshing after Nintendo's games are all $60. Ready, I think Tony Hawk 1 and 2 was also $40. On Ready, whatever go. service that was on. I, I don't remember which. But in terms of pricing, Ready? it seems like some companies that aren't Nintendo Ready? are actually starting to, uh, they're starting to willingly lower the prices of games a little bit, which is, again, very refreshing. And probably for the best. Touched it. This nine one. This is the first Ready, the first level go. of World Nine. Ready, go. Oh boy. Oh boy. Stay on track. No, 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 no. Maybe I should just stop this and go play some Roller Coaster Tycoon. I'm good at that.
You know what part of the reason that I haven't uh, gotten around to uh, Planet Coaster yet is? Is that uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 just kind of put a bad taste in my mouth for the theme park in 3D setting? Which, I know, a lot of people probably grew up on 3, and that's their favorite of the series, but... I remember I never had a computer that could run it well, so it was always very choppy, and it was... I kind of liked the grid-based system of the first two games. It made things very nice and neat and organized. And then 3 gives you all this freedom. Maybe I'll give it another shot someday. I, I, I don't think... I don't think it's a bad game. I think I just haven't given it a fair shot. I could do a stream of Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 someday. I own it. Haven't played it, but I own it. I think I had a roller coaster simulation game on the PS2. Don't know if it was Tycoon, though. I don't think the Tycoon series was ever on PS2. But there were a few, there were a few, like, uh, knockoffs that attempted to get in on the roller coaster tycoon trend. I think, like, Theme Park Simulator was one. I've probably seen the one that you're, that you had played on one of, like, Vinny or Joel's shovelware streams. Or, like, PS2 Madness. They both do streams where they just kind of play a random assortment of uh, PS2 games. Because that was one of the first systems to really have just, like, everything dumped onto it. They would put anything on the PS2. It didn't stink up the library quite as bad as the Wii, and the DS for that matter. But there was a lot of, like, uh, cheap commercial movie tie-ins or uh, just poorly made cash-in games on the PS2. And infamously games like, you know, Big Rigs, just ob other obviously low effort or un unfinished games that were shoved out to make a profit. I, I, I think I'd like it better if the camera wasn't moving. I guess that they're doing the monkey ball thing with the camera that's also messing with me a little bit for a precision's sake. So after yesterday's stream, I was all—I was I mentioned getting pretty woozy, kind of heavy, heavy-eyed towards the end of it. I stayed up a little longer, went to bed early, woke up at around midnight with a very bad headache, just could not get back to sleep. 
got up, was up for a few hours. Ready? I went back to bed for another, like, three or four hours, so, uh... Yeah, if you get, uh... If you get the second shot of the Vast Nation, definitely a good idea to have... Probably at least two days off afterwards. In my experience. That is my unprofessional recommendation. at work that's stressing you out. I'm off this week. No, it was just the... I got the second shot and my immune system was fighting it. And the first the first shot, I felt a little fatigued. Ready? Go. But this one, I, I felt like completely sick, like I was fighting off a, a fever. I'm over it now, though. Ready? It was just a rough second day, and then it kind of just it just disappeared. It went away. And now the worst thing I have to worry about is this fucking paper ball level. Call of Duty Black Ops was on the Wii? I didn't even realize that. Did it have forced motion controls included? Please! Wii version is probably the best to play control-wise, had controller support too. You mean like, using motion controls? What do you mean the best to play control-wise? I... It's no secret that I hate motion controls. I would like them to be... At worst, optional, and I would like to never use them in any game ever. Gyro is fine. I mean, I don't really use. I don't really. I guess I don't play games that use gyro, but I can see the appeal for uh, precision aiming on a console. I guess the music's appropriate. This is the final boss. God, what are worlds 10 and 11 gonna be like? And I say that, world 7 was harder than world 8. I guess having a Wiimote would theoretically be preferable to uh, controller aiming, at, le at least. Although I assume the game is on PC as well. That's the standard for shooter aficionados, is it? Mouse and keyboard is the only way. You can only get the precision with a mouse. People even feel that way in Awesome Knots, a, a 2D game. 
Although because it is so heavily platforming, I think there's an argument for both cases. I think you have better, uh, you have a little more precise control of your character using a controller for platforming purposes. But I can see how precision aiming might be better with a mouse. go this way. No. Too high. I figured that would be the case, but it's worth trying once. I don't remember if there's camera controls in Monkey Ball. Or if the camera is just kind of... You're just kind of at the camera's mercy as it's behind your monkey. Ready, go. Ready, go. Ready, go. Ready, go. Ready, go. This is one of those things that always looks easy until you have it in your hands. Like Mario games. Ready, go. I like to think I'm pretty good at 3D platforming. Which kind of transfers here a little bit. You know, Marvel games are like, th are like 3D platformers, except everything is ice and you can't jump. Why do people play these games again? I'm just, we're finally going to get through this level, and then I'm just going to breeze through the other nine in World 9. Let's just watch, the rest are going to be nothing. It's just going to be this one stupid roadblock that they put at the very start of the world to scare people off. I'm also getting that thing where you stare at one level for too long, and your eyes just kind of go out of focus. It's just getting progressively harder for me to continue doing this level because I just want it to be over. I'm getting impatient. And I, I keep thinking the inside is safer. Because if I start to go off, oh, I can recover. I, I can ride the inside rim, but no, you can't. You just you just go off either way. It 
See, now I'm also trying to be careful, and I'm not making the time anymore, either. So I kind of, I have to hurry at least a little bit. Ready, go. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take off my headphones. I'm going to get rid of this fucking music. Alright, no more final boss music. Nice, silent room. That's what I need. That'll help me. It didn't help me. Maybe not hearing, ready, go! Every three seconds will help. See, once I start to slow down, that's when I feel like I start doing worse. I, I, there's like a rhythm. You just gotta keep the momentum. And then it's kinda, it's actually a little easier to stay on. Ready, go. I wanna say that. I still haven't made it to the end of that final ring, though. Man, this kind of terrain must be a nightmare for Sonic to, to traverse. He'd just be rolling along in spin dash form, and he'd, he'd, he'd be like, uh, he'd be like, uh, like road bumps. Precision with the D-pad, yeah. Gotta go old school, gotta go Marble Madness. You hear the clicking, the clacking? Okay, maybe not. I don't think that actually helped. Wow, that's a, that is a clickety-clackety D-pad. Shows how much I use it on this controller. Another thing I'd love is to be able to uh, maybe skip this level, go to another one, Ready, go. And then I could come back later. Like maybe I just need to, maybe I just need to do all the levels in a world to get to the next one. Hey devs, maybe I don't need to spend an hour of my life stuck on this level to unlock the next one because I I, I can't get past this one at this particular second. Marble It Up does that. You always have a few levels available to you. And I think you can, you can just go back and do old ones at any time. That's also nice about Roller Coaster Tycoon, weirdly enough. Is you always have a selection of scenarios available. And you just need to beat any one of the ones available to you to uh, op open the way to more. I don't usually have that problem in games where I just get stuck on a level and it just becomes a massive headache, but uh, here we are. Well, imagine if Jack were here. He'd be screaming by now. He'd have demanded we set up Parsec so that he could try it. 
and then failed. And I'd be like, okay, fine, I guess it's hard, and then it would go back to me, and I would resume failing at the level. That's how it would go. Ready? Please, 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 please. Ready, go. Speaking of crossovers, Bird Girl Ready, premiered. Go. The, uh, I guess, Harvey Birdman successor. I haven't watched it. I don't know what Hanna-Barbera properties it features. I assume it has to feature other Hanna-Barbera properties if it's in any way a spiritual successor to Harvey Birdman. Might be a thing of curios to check out. I don't know what that's even on. I know Adult Swim uh, streams. Their, they used to stream their shows on this web on their website. Assuming you had uh, you had to have like the information from your cable provider that proved that you got the Adult Swim channel. Nowadays, they probably on something though, like Hulu or uh, HBO. I don't know if Turner has stakes in any of the current streaming services. Ready? Go. I just I have my left Ready? finger on the reset button at all times. There's nothing else for it to do. That's all you got in this game is you got the the movement stick and you got reset. That's something Marble It Up had was uh, power ups. Ready? And they were on an on-level basis. You just they were either in the level for you to get and use or they weren't. Ready, go. That is to say they weren't random, they were always part of the level's design. But it was something to add, add a little variety. Ready, go. This is definitely a, a more purist monkey ball experience. Sorry, did I say purist? I meant sadist. Ready, go. Ready, go. This this is this level is gonna be the whole stream. We're gonna be here for an hour. We're already approaching two hours. Ready, go. Very, in the very worst case scenario. Boy, if we just can't do this on stream... Maybe, maybe I'll just have to call it and I'll have to do it off stream. And I'll come back and uh, do the next stream on the level after this one. Ready, go. Ready, go. Stormy Ascent. At least Stormy Ascent, I knew what I was getting into. This just came out of fucking nowhere. I even looked at it. The first thing I said when I saw it was like, oh, okay, this doesn't look too bad. Maybe that was the second thing I said about it. Ready, go. 
Top 10 most frustrating levels in video games. Number 10. Ready, go. Now, if that were a real list, then at least three of them would probably be from F Zero. And at least this game controls well. It is a far cry better than games that are frustrating because they play like a bag of turds. Like many of the fine PS2 shovelware we described. starting to hurt from this level. Actually, I kind of have to do that in order to speak into the microphone, so... It'd be nice to get a headset microphone, but that's a whole new world of trial and error that I don't really want to explore and invest in. I recently learned that apparently there was a uh, Wayside School Ready, cartoon. Go. Which I read the books in elementary school, the Wayside books about the school that was built sideways. And they always felt so, uh, like, so abstract. I could never really picture the setting in my head, so uh, having to physically be a cartoon, I can't really picture. Ready, go. Well, I guess if you can make Dr. Ready, Seuss cartoons, you can say you can make anything. I think, the, I think it came up in discussion because we were talking about the uh, the new Magic School Bus that people haven't been too keen on. With, like, uh, Ms. Frizzle's niece, or whoever it is. I, I never really watched those kinds of uh, pseudo-educational PBS cartoons at any point in my life anyway, so... Sorry, I missed Arthur. Which I only recently learned what had been continuing to go on for like 20 years. I thought that came and went ages ago. Arthur the Aardvark. Like, uh, we had Franklin the Turtle. Little Bear, that was Nick Jr. Ready, go. 
I watched Nickelodeon from about when they started to show cartoons. Except Ren and Stimpy. I just, I, I didn't, I never liked Ren and Stimpy even as a kid. Ready? I probably, my parents probably didn't let me watch it. They were a little, uh, Ready? they were a little protective about very crude cartoons. I did watch Cow and Chicken because it just happened to be on, but I was also not crazy about that. I had a very similar vibe to uh, Cow and Chicken, Rocco's Modern Life, and Ren and Stimpy. All kind of had that uh, that kind of poop humor vibe to them. Rocco the least so, but e even that. And it was also just a very... Uh, a very weird, abstract setting. It wasn't really thoroughly defined what the world was. Ready? Go. I, liked, I, I liked some of the later cartoons, like Spongebob, because they were more thematically consistent. And then we got that era of Cartoon Network with uh, Adventure Time and Regular Show and Gumball that kind of just did whatever and would change animation styles or settings on a whim that didn't really jive with me for the same reasons. I did go back and watch uh, Adventure Time somewhat recently, just because I knew it had some degree of, of uh, continuity. And that's what I like in cartoons, or in animation in general. And it was fine, I don't regret watching it, but I don't think I'll watch it again. It's kind of, it was a Kind of a depressing show, Adventure Time. There was a lot of doom and gloom in that show. Or like ex existential dread, I'll say. And it didn't really uh, resolve itself in a way like uh, Steven Universe did. It just kind of always had this attitude of the whole world is fucked and we're just living on it. That that that's Adventure Time in a nutshell. Ah. Okay, I gotta I gotta take that final ring on the outside. I keep go I keep falling in the inside every single time. If I fall out the outside, well, at least I'll have died in a new way. Outside, outside, outside. Okay, new way. Please. Ah! I'm sorry, you don't need to hear these noises. It's, it's that particular one every time, though. It's like the third domino away from the gate. Someone outside is very proud not to have a muffler. How long am I going to keep attempting this, is the question. Well, I would, love to, I would love to finish it, even if this is the last thing I do on this stream. If this is the final boss of the stream, so be it. But man, I would like to get it. Even if I weren't going for gold. Even if I were taking it, like, super slow and careful. I don't think I'd have any better luck. It's almost easier to go at a certain, like, speed. Ready, go. Ready, go. I'm 
but I can't wait till I do Crash 4 and it's got stuff like this in it. It's like this is going to be all the end game stuff in Crash 4. This is this is why the game is so hard to complete. I hope there's ball levels. I like the ball levels in Wrath of Cortex. Be nice to see those make a comeback. There was a, uh, there was a new Cortex minion in Crash on the Run, the, the mobile game. It's like a purple gorilla. I don't know if that, if that character is unique to on the run or if they were from some other obscure Crash Bandicoot thing. Or maybe they appear in Crash 4. Well, it's she. The female Cortex minion and the purple gorilla. Ready? Go. There were unique characters to the like weird spin-off crash mobile games like Yaya Yaya Panda, I think is her name. Which she did eventually appear in uh, Nitro Field, which is nice. It's a nice looking character design. It should be a shame to waste it on like the shitty mobile game that no one played. Come on, come on. Yeah. Ready? Boy, if I, uh, if I ever do highlights of this, this is not going to be a part that I'm looking forward to rewatching. The hour plus of the final boss of Paperball, World 9 1. It's at this point that I'm sure that if I, like, just, if I just stopped and I came back tomorrow, I'd, this is one of those things I'd probably get it in, like, three tries. It's just I've been at it so long. And I don't want to end the stream before I get it. I gotta get those internet points. I gotta prove that I'm, I'm, I'm an epic gamer with the gamer skills. Then all the VTube girls will like me. failing. I'm not even making it to the final ring anymore. Ready? Go! 
I've played llamas that control better than this. how long it took that person to clear it for the first time. Ready? Go! Ready? Go! Pong, stack, railings, amphitheater, cogwheels, broken twister, screw, ghost leg, and windows. See you next time! Oh boy. So maybe we'll be coming, th well, maybe we'll be coming back to this tomorrow. It depends on if I feel like suffering tomorrow. Maybe I can finish it. Maybe I can't. It depends on how the rest of the... Maybe maybe that was the one really hard level of World 9. It's possible. We'll see. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you whenever the next stream happens to be.